I recently got a Mac Mini and I have a Google Pixel 7 Pro. Anyone who has been in my footsteps knows exactly how difficult it is to transfer data from your phone to your Mac and from your Mac to your phone. The first option everyone goes for is Android File Transfer. You download the software and the start it works great, but it's always a pain in the ass to connect your phone with the Mac through that. A lot of time it does not recognize your phone. It gives this stupid error every time I try to connect, could not connect with the device. Then I have to unplug my cable, plug it back in, try again. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work. Sometimes I have to change my cable. Sometimes even changing the cable does not work. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys two simple methods for which you do not need to download any software. You do not need any cable. You don't even need a Bluetooth connection. So let's dive into it. So recently I discovered this website, Shadrop. It is a really simple looking website. This is the main page. As you guys can see, there's not much here. On the top left, it says share drop P2P file transfer. On the bottom, it's there's a little circle with the koala beer inside it, which says you. And on the top right, there is a plus sign here. So in order to transfer files between your Android phone and your Mac, you have to click on this plus sign. Now it says share files between devices in different networks, copy provided access and send it to the other person. You have two options here. Either you can copy this link and paste it in your browser or on your phone, or you can simply scan this barcode here. So I'm gonna go with the second option. I'm gonna scan the barcode. As you guys can see, when you scan the barcode, there's a pop-up link that appears. Click that. As you guys can see now, the nice scroll is showing up on your phone and you are the liable loin. This website likes to give names and logos to the devices it connects with. So in this case, I am the liable line. Anyway, so I have to send data from my phone to the Mac. So in this case, I'm going to click on nice caller here. Now it's giving me options, camera, camera, video, file. So I'm going to select file here. It's not that you can only send small files between the two devices. I have sent 4K video files as well, up to 500 MB in one go. And honestly, it goes like a breeze, no problem. But in this case, I'm going to select this file. This is also a 4K video, 127 MB. So I'm just going to click on it. There you go. Now it's giving me options. Do you want to send the file name to NiceCaller? Yes, send. Now basically on the Mac screen, it is asking me, reliable line wants to send you the file name, decline or save. I'm going to click save. Now, if you guys look here, the file is coming in. And as you guys can see, the speed is pretty fast. That's the sort of speed sometimes you get from transferring from cables. In total, I don't think it, it took more than 40 seconds. So now you can see the file has been downloaded. Now I'm going to show you guys how to send photos from your Mac to your phone. So in this case, I'll have to click on my icon on the Mac, reliable line. Click here. And now it's giving me some option to send a video or something. But let's try to send multiple photos this time. These two photos. Open. Do you want to send shit, blah, blah, blah. So when you send more than one file, it bundles your files up and sends you a zip file. Do you want to send blah, blah, blah? Yeah, I'm going to say send. On the phone, it's going to ask me again. Nice call wants to send you share drop blah 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 save a lot of people don't have zip file extractors on their phone i downloaded this free one yesterday it's called zip extracted and it works like a charm no problem at all so i'm going to extract those files using this app now i'm going to click on extract i'm going to go to photos there it is these are the two files i just sent and honestly i've sent 30 photos at once and it took me like less than one minute or something to send those photos the link to the website is simple sharedrop.io it is 100 percent free if you like their service you can donate to them as you can see here honestly these are sort of websites i would love to donate to because they don't show no ad they're absolutely free and they deserve our help and support and this website is not just limited to you know transferring between mac and android you can transfer between pc and iphone you can transfer between PC and Android. As long as your device has a browser, you can transfer data between them. Now let's move on to the second way. Everyone who has an Android phone, they get about 15 GB of free backup storage from Google. And 
a lot of time we forget that whatever photos we have on our phone or videos, there's a 95% chance, unless you have untoggled that switch, that they are getting backed up. And literally all you have to do to access those photos and videos is go on this website called photos.google.com. It showed up. Boom. There you go. So there you are. These are all the photos I have on my device. And these videos are from like half an hour ago. So the backup happens instantly. To download a file, all you have to do is just click on that file. Click on these three dots on top. Download. Boom. There it is. I know this is not something revolutionary. This is not something new. But it is just something I had totally forgot about. That this is the option I can use. Because I was just so busy trying to fix android file transfer so yeah there you go there are your two ways to transfer data between android and mac i hope this was useful if you like the solutions please do subscribe to my channel